Hi, this video is in follow-up to a question from one of the YouTube subscribers, actually a former student of the program where I teach, who'd asked how I made a particular crisp and clear articulate sound in my fast passage work. This is a great question and it's something I think about a lot and um, I've got a few thoughts for this. First, um, sound comes not from your fingers. It comes from your brain. I know this sounds a little abstract, but there's a certain sound I want to make that I have in mind, and part of that sound comes from listening to great pianists who are great at making that sound. Um, a pianist I spent a lot of my life listening to is Glenn Gould, and he has this instantly recognizable sound. Um, in some ways I could say Glenn Gould has been the soundtrack to my life. I've, I've spent a lot of time listening to his recordings. Um, other pianists who make the sound uh, in particularly well, uh, Ivo Pogorelic uh, in some of his older recordings, uh, Sergei Babayan, uh, it's, it's a kind of wizardry. In fact, in my uh, iTunes account I have a uh, a playlist called Legero Playing that I like to uh, show for students. Like, just check this out at the the most humanly high level possible. I mean, it's just almost freakish. Um, but there is a way I make this sound. And um, so at a physical level, try a couple of things. This is something I like to try with my students. I'm going to play an excerpt from some Debussy uh, that's, I think, very articulated. And um, I'm going to play it on the fall board here. Now, um, what does this demonstrate? Uh, I, I hope the microphone picked that up, but one thing I like about this, strangely enough, is that there's no, there's no tones from the piano to uh, mask anything that might be not working. All you could hear was pure um, light percussion, and hopefully you could hear four subdivisions of a single beat. And it, it shows that things are very clear quickly. Um, and it also, uh, it, it makes a particular sound at the piano, which I can now transfer to the keyboard, because I did the following things physically. One was that um, I have a very fast attack, and uh, that fast attack comes from it being a little bit above the keys. Uh, this does a couple things. It creates a fast attack, but it also, because I've got space between my fingers and the keys, it's creating a tiny bit of space uh, between each note. Um, so imagine that the sound of the piano is a little bit like um, the layout of the keyboard almost. So that there's sound, and then there's this tiny space between the notes, sound, tiny space, and it's always the same amount. Um, if you watch an earlier video of mine on four quadrants of sound um, combining depth of, of attack and speed of the attack, uh, you, this might remind you that this kind of sound uh, comes from uh, in that quadrant of Leggero. Um, I think this is the hardest sound to make at the, at the piano. Um, everyone's impressed when someone's playing fast and loud. I think it's much actually harder to play fast and light. It's extremely exposed. That excerpt I was playing on the Debussy has this sound. Um, in the video I'd, I'd been playing uh, some Bach that the pianist uh, was referring to, and um, again, you'll notice that my fingers are a little bit higher off the keys. Um, in um, this case, you'll notice in my left hand that as I play that run, my fingers are lifting not just a little before, but mostly after I play the notes. So when I get to my thumb, my fingers are in this position. Um, they're straight, and uh, they're playing curved and lifting straight. They are never lifting uh, curved, and you'll find that makes a lot of tension in your hand very quickly, which which is the enemy. Um, and when I played here, I had a similar motion. Um, I'm lifting a bit. My fingers are uh, um, uh, playing higher off the keys, and again, this creates space between the notes. So uh, try those things, but I can't underestimate the importance of listening and having the sound in mind. Um, now, there's yeah, there's a there's a given here also, and that is uh, I spent a lot of time at the piano, um, many 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 hours, um, tens of thousands of hours practicing technique. But 
the more I practice these things, I'm still a believer that technique comes from the ears once a certain kind of physiological um, uh, foundation is there. So uh, keep at it. And uh, again, I listen to someone like Sergei Babion play Legero and I think, wow, how do they make that sound? It's incredible.